Hello Internet, welcome back to our snow shader. We have a problem. Uh, not the fact that our tessellation isn't working. I still don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but if you put walls around something, specifically snow, if you put walls in snow, they don't push it down. They it sort of piles up around them. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get the whole piling up around them, but we definitely don't want it to like cave in around buildings. That doesn't seem right to me. And so we're going to kind of fix that. If, in the bottom right, you can kind of see what a render texture looks like. I've got the four walls around the outside, and then I've got our, our sphere going around, and it's been going for a while, so we have sort of this donut in the middle. Ideally, that outer red ring should go away. There's, that shouldn't be there. And so luckily, <laughs> this is actually fairly easy to fix. The easiest way to do this is a culling mask. Right now we're drawing everything. This is everything that we have. Uh, I'm going to change that to nothing. And now that works. That's cool. Um, but we're actually only going to draw. Uh, I'm going to need a new new layer. So let's add that. Let's do uh, snow interference. Sure, we'll call it that. <laughs> Why not? Uh, and so I almost said and snow. <laughs> it's one of those days. So we have the snow interference thing. So we're only going to draw that. The cool thing is, is that's really all we need to do. The only other thing is we need to change the layer of our sphere so that it's actually on that layer. Uh, so I'm going to do that again because I was doing it in play mode and that's not going to work. Totally have to do that again. That's great. Snow interference. I don't know if that's a good name. That seems like a terrible name, but we'll go with it because it's what's on my mind. <laughs> Snow interference. So our culling mask is going to signify what we're actually going to draw. If you do a culling mask, it, it gives you a way of sort of drawing things. There's a lot of uses for this. Like if you're drawing two uh, cameras, for example, say you're in an FPS and you don't want the player's gun to go through a wall. You can draw two cameras. Want the first one does everything uh, except the player's gun. And then the other one is drawn afterwards and only draws the player's gun. So that isn't doesn't clip through things. Uh, that's a pretty common implementation of this. We're using this in a similar way, but we only want our bottom camera, the camera below everything to catch that snow. Uh, and or all of these occluders, the things that are actually going to slow that down. For our implementation, this works because for most things, we're not going to actually use the full model in this. Uh, we don't want to necessarily redraw our, our player model with all their equipment and everything. It might be cool, but we don't need all that extra geometry and all that extra detail when all we need is the depth. So that that's that. If we put the sphere on the snow interference layer as well, that should be all we need to do. So I should be able to just start this and we should be good. So if I go to this uh, snow occluder, we're there. I need to turn off the, the don't clear bit. And now it works. Well, <laughs> fix two things with one, one thing. I'm not entirely sure how, why that fixes the render texture. But it did. So cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So now we get this nice donut that gets carved in, but we don't get anything for the walls, which means unless we specifically tag something, it's not going to do that. So if you're if you have like elves from Lord of the Rings that don't actually fall through snow, you don't necessarily need to have them leave trails. They can literally just walk on top. Uh, and so this kind of gives you that freedom compared to just everything suddenly goes through snow now, uh, which is cool, I guess, but not necessarily what you want. So that's pretty much it. This is this is all we needed to do. So I'll leave it here. Uh, if you guys have suggestions or feedback for me, let me know in the comments. There's a link to our discord in the description. You can join that. Uh, but that's it for now. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, see you internet.